Joseph Peters, member of the Squaxin Island Tribe. Things that are at risk to, to me as a tribal member in our community are um, the traditions that we have as a, as a group and uh, some things that I can think back of. Um, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, that is, uh, used to fish um, Eld Inlet, and um, they used to go down, this is pre-bolt decision, um, in the early 50s, and they'd go down and they'd be fishing for chum salmon, and uh, they'd be fishing these 100-foot stake nets, and they'd be filling up uh, great big boxes of, uh, or uh, apple boxes full of chum. And uh, that story continually was told to me as a kid and how important it was was to be fishing um, in, in the fishery and, and uh, part of our culture. And uh, to this day, I, I uh, learned from my father to fish that area, and still it's more like a family fishery in this area in Eld Inlet where we fish out in front of my dad's property and uh, fish every year. And just this year, I actually took my kids out there and taught them um, the same fishery and how we do things and how important it was and even told the stories that my grandfather told. So just that tradition and culture is something that's ma a major risk for us uh, if we lose our treaty rights. Um, and another aspect of that is um, economically and food. Um, you can look at it as a monetary side or just food itself as we lose that fishing right. Uh, we won't have food for our people, and we may not have the money that it may generate for us uh, 